on the International Women's Day, I would like to send a message to all of you. During my life, I was fortunate to be surrounded by brilliant women, and I had the chance to participate in several programs to empower women to apply for field jobs, including a very special one at the time of the UN. It's called She Builds. It was one of the most rewarding programs. I had the chance to participate and make a relevant positive impact on female participation in the recruitment process. And what I can share with you from that experience and my other related experiences, let me tell you three aspects we must understand and act in order to transform the idea and the desire into reality. First, with no seeds, there are no fruits. You cannot expect female leaders at the top if you do not have many women starting and maintaining their career in the field. It's a growing process. You must create a stimulus for young female talents. Second, it's not smart to repeat doing the same thing and expect different results. If the way you identify, recruit and foster female talent is not producing the gender equality you expect, you must change your approach. And I have a straightforward example. It was when we put the quote, women are encouraged to apply in all UN vacancies in our area. We increased female participation dramatically, mostly in countries where the social gap between women and men was extremely high. We must understand that a subtle intentional shift can have a ripple effect. But please, I'm not saying that you should do positive discrimination towards women. What I'm saying is that you must encourage them to apply and show their competence. And if you do that, the problem is sorted out because women know what to do if they have a chance. Just give them a chance, trust me. Three, it's not only gender equality, it's all about diversity. A Boston Consulting Group study in 2018 demonstrated that diverse companies produce 19% more revenue. And why these results? It's because diversity boils curiosity, improves innovation, and gives you a far better perception of the risks you are running, and finally increase your understanding of your own marketplace. Finally, we must always be mindful and remember that salaries and opportunities cannot be decided by your gender, by the color of your skin, by your religion, or by your sexual orientation. This is not fair, this is not right, and obviously, this is not smart. On behalf of Brightline, a project management institute initiative, I want to wish all women a happy Women's Day. Thank you.